This clip presents the new and enhanced ARCHICAD light sources. They have been completely rewritten in order to be capable of producing realistic shadows with soft edges. Select More in the toolbox and activate the Lamp tool. Open its Settings dialog. Select the General Light Sources folder. For better illumination of your project, seven new general light sources have been created. Area Light. It's a basic shape which emits light in every direction. It can be visible on the rendered image. General Light. It emits light in every direction. IES Light. It's a light using .IES extension files which describe the form of their illumination. Parallel Light is an infinite plane emitting parallel rays in a general direction. Spotlight is a simple spotlight which can be directed on any object. Sun Object. This is a special parallel light which behaves like the sun, it has no falloff, and it can use the ARCHICAD sun position. Window Light is a special area light which strengthens the interior luminosity of daylight renderings. Its intensity is affected by the ARCHICAD sun position. All major Cinema 4D parameters are implemented in an easy to understand format. Let's see an example. Select General Light from the sources. You can set the basic settings of the sources, such as turn on and off the light, adjust the main intensity, set the light source's color, activate the fall off, reduce light intensity over distance to reduce intensity over distance. Define the absolute light intensity in candelas or lumens. And set shadow casting parameters. Click the basic light parameters pop-up and click the plus symbol to expand the floor plan and model representation. Use these panels to set the 2D and 3D representations of light sources. Expand the effects. Many sophisticated optional effects provide advanced level settings that are separated from the basic parameters in the settings dialog box. Visible light controls the properties of the light beam in the scene. Use the pop-up to choose a visible light option from the images. Check the reduce density over distance option to set the light density to decrease toward the edges. The feedback images help to illustrate and understand what the parameters mean. Select Noise Effects from the pop-up. In this panel, you can set the irregularity of the light source in two ways in order to make the effect more realistic. Select the Caustics effect. These effects are patterns of focused light created on surfaces within a visible light beam. Check the surface or volume caustics box you wish to create. Selecting the lens flare effect simulates the aberrations of real-world camera lens systems and film material. Its two main components are glow and reflexes. Both have a large number of predefined types. Select the clipping effect. This effect clips the light effect between two points. Check the boxes to create a near clip and or a far clip. For each clip, define where the clip effect should begin and end. The illumination related special effects are important general parameters for your light effects. To help you understand the effect, try out the checkboxes to see how the sample image changes. Select the shadow and surface related special effects. Here you can also try out the checkboxes to see the differences of shadow or surface effects. Finally, you can find a parameters for listing in the pop-up. The other light sources, as you can see by clicking on the sun object, have different special settings. However, the available effects have almost the same parameters and settings as the general light source effects have. Apart from the basic settings, light sources come with many optional effects 
for more realistic renderings.